This is a new breath keto meter device, the Sulfi Valium Ed. Uh, when you get it, you're not supplied with batteries, but the first thing you need to do is to install batteries to start testing. It's very easy to do. The battery compartment's on the reverse. You've got springs that clearly indicate the battery polarity and direction. And you just need to insert two standard off-the-shelf AA batteries into the reverse of the compartment and then close the battery compartment up. Clicks in nicely and there you are, batteries fitted, ready to go. To do your first test, simplicity itself. Open up the port that takes the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is then inserted onto the meter. But before you use it for the first time, the manufacturer recommends that you vent the unit properly and that means just cycling it by running the sensor and warming it up three times. So I'm just going to show you that uh, simple operation. When you come to do a test, just hold the front button. The meter comes on, shows all its displays and starts counting down from 20 to 0. Now what it's doing while it's counting down is cleaning the sensor, burning off any residual gas elements, anything that's deposited around the, the sensor to try and give you an accurate indication each time. And there when it's burnt off you get the BLO and then it starts counting for 10 seconds. Now the ideal sampling time that you want to blow into this unit is a full 10 seconds blow. That's quite a long time when you actually come to blow through this unit. And the advice again to get an accurate level of your ketones is not to take a deep inhalation before you start that first blow, but to simply take a normal inhalation and blow nice and slowly without too much force, but continuously for the full 10 seconds. Now you see that unit has cycled once. What I'm going to do now is just Cycle it again, counts down from 20 down to zero, then gives you the BLO indication at which time you should start blowing and you should continue to blow until you get that second double beep at the end of the 10 second sampling time. So let's, let's show you that again. Two, one, blow, nine, eight, seven, six, and so forth. And then at the end of the countdown time, it will immediately display the ketone level. Now, you've got a simple traffic light system along the bottom here. We'll talk to you a little about that in just a second, but I just want you to show that after a further 10 seconds, you don't have to do anything with this unit. It will automatically give you an off sign flashing and depower itself. That is switched off now till the next time you want to use it. At which time you just repress the unit and let it count down again as it cleanses the sensor. So what we're going to do this time round is let this do its third and final pre-cleanse and then what we're going to do is run a test on this and show you the difference between the different traffic light signals. If no ketones are detected then you will get a red indicator just below the millimoles per litre print on the LCD. A red indicator, as shown there, indicates no ketones detected. If you get a green light, that means ketones have been detected and you'll get a positive reading, 0 0.10, 0 0.20, etc., depending on the level of ketones that's detected. If you get an amber light, that's an indication that the battery power is insufficient and that you should re-change re your batteries. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually run a test. There we go, coming on, showing all the symbols functioning, counting down, down to the 20, and then when it gets down to the BLO, I'm going to trigger this unit by blowing through it and show you the results. So here we go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go, green traffic light. I've been fasting now for approximately over 18 hours. I did fast yesterday as well when we were playing with this meter and my ketone levels at the current time are 0 0.30 millimoles per litre. There it goes, we'll switch off. And that's it, it's simplicity itself. You want to test again, just retest. The beauty of this meter is that you can use it over and over and over again. There's no absolute guarantee that your sensor is going to last forever. These are electrochemical sensors. What I'm going to do is just do a, one more test for you. Here we go. Zero. 
0.04. So these are quite sensitive sensors and what we'll do in the next video is just talk to you about how to get the best out of these and things to avoid which will throw these sensors. And that one is there powering off. Now these units really offer an incredible simple and easy fast way of being able to monitor your, your levels of ketone excretion. It allows you to actually see what's happening on an hour by hour basis without the need to finger prick or test a urine sample. They are never going to be as accurate as a real time blood ketone test done on a good quality ketone meter. The reason for that is these aren't detecting ketones directly. And we'll talk a little bit about that in the next video where we run through how to get the best out of your meter and what the, the limitations of using BRAP testing is.